Yeah, it's semi-final time here for the men at the Margaret River Pro. John John Florence taking on Matthew McGilvray, who's made a huge climb up the ratings and looking to get started early against the two-time world champion. And here he is, big carve to get started. Couple of lumps in the face that he's got to deal with. The second effort is a lot stronger. And has room for a, a big finishing turn here. Some shallow inside sections, but Matt deals with it nicely. Just gets bumped off on the final section there. Missed that important completion. Ronnie Blakey with the 78 world champ, Wayne Rabbit, Bartholomew Bugs. Great to be here with you, mate, to call these semi-finals. They're big ones. Yeah, 4.67 for Matty, and there it is, just hustling for that inside position. Yeah, well, when before they got, went behind that wave in front, uh, it was actually John John with the inside positioning. He sort of just caught, gets caught up in that first one. This one's a lot more crisper, Ronnie. Nice crisp second turn there. Third one, sort of similar again, and uh, just not finishing. That kept him below that five-point threshold, making the cut from way back, and here he is again. Well, he did that. Here he goes. His second ride, it's a, a lot better that first turn. And now has a nice clean wall to dig into. So getting some work done on this one. And it's a tricky end section. It kind of started capping on him early, but he got his board up there for the floater to finish. God, his board looks great in this one. And that first car, as you said, running much stronger. The second one again, really letting loose on that one, feeling it. This way it's got body all the way through and wow, quick as fire. He just uh, slams that door. If he's going to overcome the two-time world champ, the two-time event winner here at Margaret River, there's something standing up on the outside at the moment, and John John's going to make his move. So uses that priority, draws off the bottom, straight into the hook there. It's a lumpy first section, but he gets that turn done. And the wave flattening out a little bit, but it will steepen on this inside, and John John will smash the oncoming section. Can't hang on for the finish, though. Yeah, well, a very similar ride to uh, Matthew's first one. Still, he's got some points on the board. The wind, a real factor there. And uh, brings it round, and uh, he's looking for the big finish. Similar to uh, Matthew, couldn't quite pull it off. A much more radical attempt, though. It's been a while. I'm just thinking back to the quarters, though. He dropped the big number on his second wave, and he's lining something up here at the moment. So under priority, sneaks this one. Draws off the bottom. Goes to that big layback carve. Always seems to score well for him. Mixes it up with that second turn. Clean combination of moves. A bit of variation there on show two. And that'll be much better than the 3.5. I think this one's the strongest one yet, Ronnie. I love this snap here. Trademark. He comes around this section. There's a nice little pocket for him. To, he brings his board right back. And this is a very difficult finish mate smooth as butter makes it look easy and uh, this layback snap is his trademark I mean sure he's done better ones but that's still a mighty good one he goes back to the base of the wave brings it round again there's a nice little pocket for him nice wrapping carve brings his board right back swings it off the white water and in one motion up into the lip yeah just a subtle grab of the rail there too it's all style at that point, but... How have you stayed composed? Um, I think just bringing the same mentality that I had at the start of the contest into the back half of the contest, just I got nothing to lose. Um, I was a dark horse from the very beginning, so if it happens, it happens. If not, like, I'm so proud. And yeah, I mean, bring on the final. <laughs> Amazing. We'll let you go get ready for the final. It's a big one, and we uh, can't wait to see it and watch it. <laughs> Cheers, Lozzie. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Isabella Nichols. Great performance under pressure. And speaking of performing under pressure, John John Florence had a slow start to this heat. He got back on track with his previous ride, a six, and I think you would have seen it on screen there during the interview. The first turn on his last ride is the turn of the heat so far. This is going to allow him to riddle, really settle in. At speed. I mean, he gave that full throttle. Even the second one's solid. And then he knows he's just got to finish. Takes a little bit off that one just to make sure he finishes. That's, a, that's virtually a John John claim. This is unbelievable. At full power, then the power oh, gauge man. just went through the Richter scale. 
the acceleration and just the ability to reel it in and not lose control, dig that board into the face of the wave, it's remarkable. And even this second one is just, just power plus. He loves it. This is just, he's in his element now. And as I said, it just sort of takes a little bit off this to absolutely nail it, make sure of it 100%, gets air under his board, free fell. And right there, that's a John John claim. That's it. Well, Kaipo on the six-point ride, he was just warming the engine, but uh, he put the foot to the floor on that last one. Yeah, he sh certainly did, Ron. I mean, I got a, the water view from that first turn. I'm saying that's the turn of the day so far. The fins were out. Half of the board was completely submerged in the water. All rail, all powered. The technique, I mean, it's something that we see John John do, but that one had the exclamation mark on it. It was very powerful, really exciting, and the nuances to see out here from the lineup. And uh, I just thought there was a bit of anger involved in that. <laughs> That was incredible. And the speed with which he attacked it with. Under priority, he's going to sneak into this one. And Matt lets him have it, thinking there might be something more out the back. It was a wise decision from the young South African. And it looks like John is going to line this one up. And he'll try and get rid of this six again. Medium-sized wave. So expect him to go to town. High risk, first turn. Busts the tail free and recovers beautifully, gets some speed and then hammers the pocket once again and finds an end section. Not done with this one, adds some extras. And this should easily get rid of the six and replace it with something better here. Seven minutes to go and we're going to see a replay of this ride. Look at the speed he's attacking this wave with, with everything he's got. That's unbelievable. He nearly lost it there, brings it round. The recovery is incredible. He, the second snap was just world class. Again here, and he just gets a, just squeezes one more in. And here's his opponent finishing. This is a finish of uh, Matthew's wave, and it's just been the John John show for the like, like like the last six or seven minutes. Here's what happened on match ride from the outside. Yeah, it's a decent looking wave here. It's a good, big open section. There's a great carve. So Matty's back in action again. Brings it back into the hook of the wave. He's got a little bit more. This is where we picked it up before. A little bit of a soft finish, but he did get the finish in. He's looking to have become the, the stuff of legend as we see Matty up now. Let's see what he can do. Well, you could be right there. Johnny, John uh, just let that one go through. Yeah, loading up. Matty McGilvray has that big air reverse. He can call on, and he's going to pull one. What a performance from the young South African. Got the completion, and John now will, I'd say, gracefully ride this one through. No need to rub it in Matty's face. Save your legs for that final. And he's going to get detonated on the inside, but what a performance. A 9-4-7 for Florence. Emulated his uh, performance from last year, yet to make crack the final. Oh, well, there are the numbers, and the, uh, the heat score average for John Florence here at Margaret River is going to go up again.